Hey everybody, so yesterday, of course, they played a little football game called the Super Bowl, during which they showed a lot of new trailers for a lot of new movies coming out later this year. There were so many, we couldn't talk about just one. We gotta talk about all of them. Here we go. So the 30 second spot for Three Days to Kill came out during the Super Bowl yesterday. I'm actually looking forward to this movie. Everybody's like saying it's gonna be awful. Amber Heard looks terrible in it, blah, blah, blah. It's a McG film. It looks like everything else Luke was on. I mean, you got Taken, you've got uh, Transported. Those were all fun movies. I know most people don't like them. I'm psyched. It's just don't take it too seriously and then you're fine. I will say Kevin Costner is doing kind of a weird, like, I wish I were Liam Neeson and talking like this the entire film. Like, it's really odd, but I don't know, maybe it'll be good. All right, so the amazing Spider-Man 2 teaser, it was like 30 seconds long. I got really excited about it, because I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think I was gonna like the amazing Spider-Man. I thought it was too soon for a reboot, but I ended up really loving it. It is a lot of blowing up. You don't really learn anything about the plot. Sally Field is kind of the longest scene. It's like 30 second teaser, and I would say like 10 seconds is her ass him if he swept the chimney or not. You know, I'm excited. I, I hope that uh, this new reboot continues uh, to be as good as the first one was. So I am entering a danger zone of excitement for Captain America the Winter Soldier. It looks so f***ing cool. The extended Super Bowl spot that they put out is amazing. They got people jumping from one car to the other. Dude reaches down through a windshield, rips out a steering wheel, then jumps onto another car all while going at high speeds. That's super cool. Everything that they're showing with Captain America the Winter Soldier has gotten better and better from TV spots to new images they're releasing to this most recent trailer. And they're even already talking to the Russo brothers about directing the third installment, so you know Marvel's excited about what's going on. I'm, I'm entering this weird region of like building my expectations to impossible levels, so I'm just gonna be disappointed in an awesome movie. And I don't wanna get there, so I'm trying real hard not to. I can't wait for April. I can't wait for the Captain America. This trailer was so cool. Transformers Age of Extinction. I've got mixed feelings. They remix the Inception bwah, for the trailer and they're apparently robot dinosaurs, which is intriguing, but it's also a Michael Bay movie. So I think what's probably gonna happen is I'm gonna see it, but I'm not gonna tell anyone about it. Holy <laughs> Cosmos, man. Like, I grew up with the original and I am ready for this 14 billion year journey with Neil deGrasse Tyson leading me through with his hypnotic poetic voice. I, I'm really excited for this. The science to the masses. Really ready for this. I love the Muppets. I love them so much. The trailer didn't do much in the way of explaining what's happening, but I don't care. I'm going to see it and I'm going to love it. I'm going to uh, remember my childhood and how great it was and how uh, Kermit and Fozzie and Gonzo were my parents. I'm legitimately not sure whether those Twitter handles are real or not. It's probably just a writer writing that. 1% of me wonders if those are real tweets. I'm gonna watch this movie, guys. You can't stop me. I love it. The best thing that ever happened to the Super Bowl just yesterday was the spot for 24, or the spots for 24. Most of them were complete teasers where it's like paper burning, some sort of smoke. And then by the time we got to the last one, it started upside down on the Union Jack, and then the bullets came, and then it spun around, and you saw London and chaos, and then there was an explosion, and then Jack comes out, and he's carrying goth born identity Chloe, and, and then he pulls up the gun, and everybody goes, <gasps> and then he starts shooting and screaming, and he's like, ah! And everybody watching it was like, ah! with him because now he's a bad guy and everybody's chasing him and you don't know what's gonna happen but he's still alive and 24 is coming back and Jack is back hashtag it's so good and it's the mark of quality content that they need they could be that simple and get everybody that excited because that is just good so those are our thoughts on some of the Super Bowl movie trailers let us know what you thought in the comments down below which ones were your favorite which ones were your least favorite Come back next time for more movie news on Cinefix Now. It looks so good, I'm scared of it. That's awesome. It's weird. I don't I don't like it. It's not a good feeling.